Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my new course, and that is the Revit Detailing Masterclass. So for the longest time, I was uh, looking at creating a course that uh, specializes in detailing in Revit and that focuses on this topic. And well, today it's finally out. It's available on my website, balkanarctic.com. It's going to be the first link just below the video in the description. So check it out if you're interested. Uh, the whole course is a little bit over four hours long. It has seven chapters and uh, it concentrates on uh, different view types for detailing. Then we move over to all of the tools that we can use for detailing. And then, well, uh, the most important part is the workflow. So we have numerous projects that concentrate on uh, different uh, types of details that you can create in Revit. And we go through all of these different detailing projects where I show you all of the different possible approaches depending on what your needs are. So I'm going to be showing you how to create drafting details, how to create callout details, how to use existing CAD details, modify them a little bit, and then load them into Revit. So you can you know, transform your existing CAD uh, uh, detail libraries into Revit detail libraries. And you can save all of those details separately on your computer. And finally, of course, the most fun part of this project, and that is the 3D details. So I show you all the little tips and tricks and tools that Revit has to offer when it comes to creating these 3D details. So for the rest of this video, I'm just going to be jumping into Revit and quickly going through all of these projects just to give you a better understanding of what's included in the course. And of course, if you want to get the course, as I said, uh, just below the video, first link in the description, uh, it takes you to my website. There I have a more in-depth uh, overview of the whole course. And of course, you can sign up either just for this course or you can get a subscription to my entire website which now has like 105 hours of content. So there's something for pretty much everybody. If you're interested in learning Revit, there's something there for you. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's check the course out and let's jump into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So uh, as I said, the course in the first uh, couple of chapters, we're just exploring the uh, view types that can be used for detailing and then all of the detailing tools, uh, mainly here on the annotate tab, uh, but also some additional tools as well. Uh, then we move over to the projects and that, that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you now. Uh, so this is the first project. This is a CAD detail. So I show you how to load in a CAD detail. I show you the, the best approach and uh, I show you how to kind of uh, skip some of the problematic uh, parts of loading in CAD details. And then also I show you how to save this as a separate uh, family file, which you can then use and reuse for uh, future projects. So you can basically transfer your entire CAD library into a Revit detail library, and then you can use that on your projects. So this is that detail that we're uh, going to be exploring. Uh, moving forward, uh, then I show you how to create a drafting view detail. So that's a detail that uh, you can link up, uh, as you can see here. Uh, here we have the flat roof, and there I created a, uh, a roof drain detail. So if I just zoom in here, uh, this is kind of showing us where that's located. And then if I just double click, this is that drafting detail. Uh, drafting views, uh, if you already know, are views that are completely separate pr from the model. Uh, that's why you don't see the rest of the model here. Uh, but I show you how to kind of still uh, note where is that located on the model. Uh, and then this is the detail that we're creating. And for this detail, I actually show you how to find a detail image online, just through a Google search, how to download that detail image, load that into the Revit, set up the correct scale, and then use that photo as a reference for creating your detail. I think it's uh, really powerful to have the ability to use that entire kind of online detail library to inform your projects. So that's exactly what they show you on this drafting detail. Uh, then I show you how to save that as a completely separate 
family so this can be saved as a separate family and as you've mentioned kind of with the cat detail uh, this can go to your uh, Revit detail library so you can just save this view and then use it on future projects wherever you have this roof drain you can place it there modify it a little bit for the project and uh, it's really useful to kind of we have that ability to collect details over time. Uh, moving forward, then we have the callout detail. Now that's probably the most common detail where you take uh, a part of the model, like we have here, this complex connection between the concrete beam, uh, the flat roof, a wall segment here, another beam, and then we have a sloped roof. So it's a very complex detail. So I'll show you how to create a callout detail for that. And if we just open that one up, uh, this is what we have. I show you how to add the, the, the blocks, the beam here, how to change the insulation, because obviously this part doesn't have to be insulated, how to to add waterproofing see here and here how to add all of the sheet metal that's required and so on and so forth all of the little tips and tricks on how to get this detail to work perfectly and then finally obviously adding annotation adding some information in form of uh, slope arrows dimensions and text and then we have this quick kind of uh, material le legend uh, chapter. Uh, I think it's important to have material uh, legends. Uh, it's not something that's quite common in Revit because it's kind of an odd way of creating a material legend in Revit, but I still think it's really important. It does uh, make your, uh, your drawings uh, or your sheets a lot easier to read. Uh, so I, I included this in the course as well. And then finally, what you're all been looking for, uh, and that is the 3D detail. So I show you how to create this uh, really cool 3D detail, and then I show you how, can, how to kind of peel back the layers in order to show the construction itself. So it can be without, um, obviously, with uh, just showing you the uh, kind of the, the the main model segment, but then you can peel back the layers and show what's hidden underneath, which I think it's really important. And it's really useful to have the, the ability, the power to show that in Revit. So that's what we're covering at the end of the course, sort of as a little cherry on top, just to kind of complete uh, the whole package of this course. So there you go. As I said, if you're interested, it's going to be the first link in the description uh, just below the video. Uh, please check it out. And also, of course, on my website, they have many more courses uh, over 105 hours of content so far and I'm obviously adding new courses uh, each month so be on the lookout for that you can either just get this course or you can get a couple of courses or you can subscribe to the entire website uh, on a monthly or an annual basis and then you have access to all of that information Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited about this course as much as I am. Uh, and uh, tell me in the comment section below, what do you think? What would you like to see next when it comes to courses? And then obviously I'll be back in a couple of days with another regular Balkan Arctic tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Have a nice day.